what's up what's up all my LV besties welcome back to another video if you are new here I am glad you decided to join my channel and if you have been here with me since November thank you for coming back on and watching another video I appreciate you guys so much so I just have to let you guys know today we had more rain y'all this is big for us in Texas okay this is probably something that nobody else would brag about but we have not had rain in so long it's so hot and dry so yeah we had rain now it happened to be on a day we had a football scrimmage so whatever but yesterday would have been better or tomorrow would have been better but we got on the scrimmage night <laughs> okay so that's okay that's all right we are happy and it's a little bit chilly in my house i'm loving it i'm like so ready for the fall weather I don't know about you guys but I am like hands down ready for it when it starts getting close to September I start pull, pulling out my fall decor start wearing my hoodies in my house I just yeah I just get into the whole fall and winter spirit yeah everything that comes along with it I'm getting I get into it but anyways I just want to update you guys on how my YouTube room is coming and I will say that it's coming along very well to the point to where I have one thing left to buy. That's it. And that's my curtains for my window. I kind of want to just put some cute curtains up to just like dress up the room. So that's all that I have left to do. And I have to order them online because the ceilings are really tall in here and the windows are very tall. So I had to order them on Amazon because Walmart or Target, anywhere that I've checked has not had the link that we need. Anyway, so I will be doing the YouTube room tour pretty soon. I'm so excited to show you guys. I cannot wait. I have worked, and my, and my husband, or both of us have worked so hard on getting this so cute and perfect. And you guys, I could not be more happier with what I'm looking at and what I know is behind me. And I cannot wait to show y'all because so much hard work is coming to it and I'm trying to tie in with trying to tie in like get the Gucci wall that I've made and the pair of stuff that goes along with Louis Vuitton all of this the colors the everything it's just been a lot of thought put into it so yeah that's coming soon and then I just want to show you guys my purse of the video is my beautiful Capucine BB and in the bubblegum pink that's what she's in and I love her so much I, I don't carry her out often because she's so special her and the Chanel I'm just gonna be real particular with both of these bags so where are we gonna go girl New York okay okay she wants to go to New York I I can't I can't help what she told me I can't help it we may have to go to New York so that she can be pretty in the city okay okay so that's not what I'm going to do my video for today but I wish I could I cannot wait to, I want to go shopping in New York so bad it's a state I've never been to and I'm excited to go and it's on the agenda and yeah pretty soon pretty soon so moving on past all of that let's get on with today's video I know you guys are probably thinking geez another unboxing another triple unboxing <laughs> but here's one reason why one of them is from rebag and i should have done a video over the bags that i was searching for because i had like several and I've, I've only got one more left that i'm trying to get that has been discontinued that is so after that i'm not looking for any more specific bags but this was one along with the other two bags I've showed you guys the Pichette Matisse in the pink emprunt leather and the Neo Noé with the pink leather straps so those were the two on my list that I had been looking for and this was the third one and I'm so excited because I found it in brand new condition and I guess the first bag I've bought from Rebag. They packaged it very nicely, way better than Fashion File does, I will say that. I've always just been more drawn to Fashion File, but I, you know, I do check Rebag every now and then, and I found this bag and I 
got it immediately. Text my friend Amy and I was like, oh my God, I finally found the bag. <laughs> anyway, so that's one of them. And then the other one, okay, y'all remember my little niece trifecta? Well, there's a missing piece now. And it is the mini. I had to take it back and return it because, oh, and I'll go back and tell you guys why I opened the rebag bag already. Now, I ordered it from my essay, but I didn't want to point it out on the video, but I noticed it right away. And it had a big indention in the front of it. Well, not only did it have that, but when you pull the, the little top handle strap up, you could tell where... I guess where it had been sitting under a light on display for so long, it had a patina to it, and then the little leather that goes across the top handle strap, and when you moved it over was that light vachetta. So, I don't know, with that, I, I would've looked past that part because they're gonna get a patina to them anyways, but with that indention in the front, it looked like it was gonna crack. I didn't want to keep that, so I, noticed it in the video but I just went on with it. It's not something you just want to just sit and look at while you're on camera or stop the camera and all that. You know, I just went on with it and I thought I'll check it more out later and I did and I decided to take it back and return it and they didn't have it in stock there. So I am going to get another one but and I could have ordered one until he brought me out the bag that I'm going to show you guys. And then I was like, oh, um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. let's wait on that and let me get this because, yeah, um, this was a good one. Okay, this was one I did not want to pass up. So I was excited because I had a pretty good a bit of credit going toward this bag. And that don't normally happen. <laughs> so that's why I have the other unboxing. And... The last unboxing I'm going to show you guys is so, so sweet of my daughter because it arrived yesterday. My husband walked in and set it down and said, you got something from Louis Vuitton? And I was like, mm -mm, no, shouldn't have. And um, he's like, no. And, and, and by all means, he, you guys, he knows those boxes. <laughs> he knows when they're delivered what they are, okay? And I'm just like, mm-mm, mm-mm, no. And then I'm just like, go. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He doesn't care. Anyways, my daughter sent me a bag, guys, okay? So I've got to show, I have not seen it, but I was telling her about the other ones in that style that I'd seen last week when we went to Dallas. And I was just talking to her, and I was telling her about how pretty it was. And all that and then it arrived yesterday okay so triple unboxing here we come okay first of all oh oh and what I was gonna go back and say why I am from now on checking things that I get from the pre-love market such as fashion file and rebag is because I want to check over these bags that I get before I just come out and show you guys just because like, I'm, I find myself concentrating on making sure something is not wrong with them. And I don't want to do that on video. And I don't want to have to edit it out either. Because it takes so long to edit that stuff out. So I thought from now on, anything that I order off a of fashion file, rebag, or whatever, it, or whoever it may be, then I'm going to check the bag out and then just unbox it and show you guys after I look it over. And I'm so excited because not one single thing was wrong with this bag. You guys, most of the time, I've had, I've had more issues out of things I've bought from the actual boutique, whether it be online or pre-order, than I have through the pre-love market. Okay, but let me start with that one first, okay? I'm so excited about this bag. What you guys know, I'm always excited. I'm always excited. I'm an excited chick day, okay? And I had to tell y'all, I've never felt so good unboxing some Louis Vuitton bags because let me tell you why. I don't think they're happy with me. I think that they feel like I've turned my back on them. Literally. I've, I've turned my back on them. They're back there. And why? Because I I cheated. Hmm? I bought a Chanel bag and I don't think they're happy about it. 
she's over there. She's over there with them right now. But I, I don't trust them. So, yeah, I don't know. So I thought, you know what? We're going to do a Louis Vuitton unboxing. And I think that might make them happy again. I, th I think we might be on good terms. We'll see. Because if I see anything go wrong with her, she's going to get her own little shelf. Her own little spot somewhere on this wall that ha that's filled up with, with all kinds of decor. She's going to go there. So I, I don't trust these little guys. Joking. Totally joking. I don't want y'all to think I'm crazy. I mean, I'm crazy. <laughs> but not that crazy. Okay, so the rebag packages really well, too. Like, they put a lot of um, bubble wrap in their boxes. I like that they do that because, you know what? You can't ever be too careful. And when you pay this much money, you, you want them to get to you nicely. Okay, so let's get this out of the way. Alright, so here is the bag in the ginormous dust bag. But it's cute because it, it says rebag in like a pinkish color. So I kind of like it. So here we go, you guys. One of the bags I've been waiting on that I missed out on. And then very hard to find, very hard to find bag. And I got it. And it is the marshmallow from the 2021 by the pool collection in the pink. And it's in all pink. So, my friend was like, you should try the cream because they had a cream color in it too. And I was like, yeah, I know I would love it, but I'm going to hold off until I can get the solid pink one. And you guys, oh my God, she's so beautiful. Like, I don't even know. I use the word beautiful and love and excited so much. I don't know what else to say, but this is the perfect, perfect hobo bag for me. And I love it that it's just got the different color pinks on it, you know? And I like it more than the marshmallow bags that they came out with this year. Those were made out of canvas. This is actually made out of on-point leather. And of course, as you see, it's got the big monogram that you all can see. But to me, this is such a prettier bag than the marshmallow bags that came out this year. So I have been wanting this so bad. Me and my friend celebrated when I got it. I texted her. We called each other. We were like, oh my God, yay. Like we were so excited because like we, we get excited for each other when we get new bags, okay? I get excited if she gets one that she's been looking for and she gets excited for me. We help each other find them too. So... First, let's do a 360 with her. So gorgeous. Let's open her up. And then I pulled up on my phone the details about each of these bags because it's easy that way too. All right, so let me take out their bubble wrap. And gosh, the strap and the chain is so pretty. If you guys can see it. So, so, so pretty. And of course, you can see that it's adjustable mm. okay this is an amazing bag Let's see where it's made it's made from france and it's got pink microfiber lining on the inside and a pocket right here so let me put her on for you guys oh she's so pretty like you y'all don't even understand like these pink bags get me every time they're just going to pink bags and reverse monogram is a very hard thing to turn down for me. I'm sorry. It just is. It's what I like. So, she is going with me to Cancun next month. I'm so happy to take her too. Because is she not just like the perfect beach bag? Yes. Okay. So, here we go. Here we go. Let's put her on. I, I have not adjusted it, so I don't really don't know how it's going to look. But, here it is as a shoulder bag. Okay, and this handle will, let's see, hold on. It will fold down like that or fold the other way, but I would prefer it to fold down like that. So there it is as a shoulder bag, which is super cute. Love, love, love. All right, now let's put her on as a crossbody. It's probably not adjusted to, to fit me. No, it's not, but you guys get it. Y'all can tell what it would look like, crossbody. So, to not waste time on the video, 
Y'all know what they look like. Crossbody. But anyways, if I was a little bit smaller, I wouldn't have to do this stuff. I could leave it on the shorter length and yeah. But no, I'm, I've decided to eat bad food. Okay, so that is her. And I'll give you guys the details real quick. Even though I know she's not available anymore, except for the pre-love market because she's been discontinued because she was a seasonal pack. You guys still might want to know what she's about, right? I mean, I would. I did. I did. I did. Okay, so she's the marshmallow bag by the pool with the on-print and giant monogram print, which we already discussed that. And then she... Okay, they didn't give a whole lot of description, <laughs> but... I mean, there's not a whole lot of description to give, I guess. We know what on point letters made out of. And her dimensions are 9 inches in width, 8 inches in height, and 5 inches in depth. And then the handle drop from the bag to the top of the handle is, what does it say? It's 5 inches. And then wrap drop ranges from 17 to 21 inches. Okay, well, I'm going to have to have that 21 inches. <laughs> oh, yeah, not 17, apparently, okay? Got to go big or go home. I'll have to go big. So, that is my beautiful, in perfect, excellent condition. It looks like nobody has ever touched her. She's still got the plastic on her hardware right here, not on the zipper. So she's so beautiful, love her. I will get a lot of use out of her because these are bags that I will carry like, oh my gosh, like everywhere, okay? All right, so moving on from this beautiful girl. This beautiful girl is behind that we're gonna find a place for her. But right now, she's gonna sit to the side. She's gonna hang by the mini, front. she's gonna hang by the cat, her friend, Capucine that's it almost the same color as hers what she's gonna do. The next one is the bag that I went to the Louis Vuitton store and bought last week. We went to Dallas and I also got something else. I forgot about that. I did get something else too. My essay showed me all the new fall bags that's coming out. Fall and winter bags. Oh my gosh you guys y'all just wait. There are so many good bags coming out in the fall and winter. So many. I, I, he let me look through the catalog, and I was like, oh, Lord, there goes all of our money. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. So I'm going to set the bag aside right now and go ahead and open up this real quick because it's it won't take long. <laughs> okay. Well, you'd think he would have put it in some tissue. <laughs> But he didn't. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I got the Bando, and I didn't look up the details on this because I forgot I got it. <laughs> the Bando, and it, I know it is a new one though, with Vivian, and she's on like hot air balloons. And there's the beautiful like birds. Let's see. Where are the birds? Where are the birds? Okay, on this side. On this side is the beautiful birds. And then I love that they have the balloons hooked to Louis Vuitton bags. Is that not the cutest thing you've ever seen? And I got this to go on my pink Pachette Matisse bag. And so on the other side is just, of course, the LV and symbols in lots of different colors, but pink being the main one. And there's some birds just sporadically hanging out on the back of it, okay? I love going in there every now and then and picking up a bando because I love to dress up my bags. It says Louis Vuitton at the bottom. So this is so cute. I love to dress up my bags. And bandos is one of the things that I like to put on them. And I thought this was the perfect color to go on my Pochette Matisse. To kind of just, I don't know, make her even more prettier than what she is. That's what we're going to do. Okay, so forgot about that one. Set that over here. Okay. So, here was a bag that I couldn't turn down and decided not to order, <laughs> not to order the Nice Mini just yet because I was like, eh, I'll get her. She ain't going nowhere. If she does, I'll find her on the free love market. All right. Okay. You guys get ready. 
I'm just going to tell you guys this. It's all about pink today. It's all about pink. And so here is her beautiful dust bag. Gosh, I love just to see the dust bags. I don't know about you guys. But when y'all go in the Louis Vuitton store and they pull out them drawers and you just see those dust bags laying in there, does your does your heart kind of almost stop like, and do you just like freeze and just think, oh my Lord, like just let me jump in and just like, okay, yeah, like a kid at a candy store. I just, I just want to dive in and just like go through all the bags. You know what I mean? Like I, that's what I want to do. They won't let me. I will they would never let me back in <laughs> if I did that. So here she is. Okay. Here we go. So, so pretty. Mm. It is the new, new wave bag in the Rose Ballerina with the beautiful leather strap at the top. And it's one of these kind that you can wear as a short shoulder bag or as a crossbody. Your choice. And look at her, you guys. She's just another perfect shade of pink. So while I got her out, I'm going to do a 360 with her, okay? So there's the front. Back. Sides. The bottom. I love that she's got this big... LV in gold right here. Oh my gosh. That is so pretty. So I have looked at the New Way bags in the past and they I, I want to say they were smaller than the size I have now. I was looking at a beige one or a light tan, whatever, one time and I couldn't really get my things inside of it. But this one, I was able to get all my things in there just fine minus the Gucci pouch. That Gucci pouch is only going to fit in large bags. Unless you like turn it sideways, cram it somehow or another. Because it's kind of a bulky little pouch. I still love it. There's just some bags that it's just not going to work with. And this was one. So, let's open her up. So, she's got a magnetic closure. I love magnetic closures. They're my favorite. Because it's just so easy. You just drop it. <laughs> drop it. And it just shuts. It should anyways. If it don't, there's a problem. All right. So, inside of this bag is also the pink microfiber lining. And, gosh, she's just so pretty, beautiful. This, it almost feels like it's like a velvet. I, or not a velvet, but I don't know. It doesn't feel like all the other microfiber linings. It's like puffy and stuff. It's so cool feeling. Like, so, it's got a back pocket back here. And where were you made? She was made in Italy. Special girl. Okay, then we got the middle pocket, and it's a zipper pocket in the middle. And inside there is her little tag from what she calls. And it's also microfiber lining on the inside of it. And then we have the, this bag is pretty sturdy. We have the front compartment right here. So between this and this and the, and the back compartment, not even including the back pocket, this bag really does hold a lot. And I, most of the time, or well, unless it's like a large bag, if I'm in the store, I will make sure my things fit in there. My necessities. Always, always do that. So I already know that they do. However, if you guys want me to show you what fits, I can do that too. But I was so happy when I saw this in the pink. Okay. Let's, let's look at her on. Let's do this. So as a short shoulder bag, here she is, which is super cute too. And I like that it's not going to fall off with the hoodie. Like, because a lot of bags don't work right with hoodies, you know? But this one does. So that's, oh gosh, it's so cute. Okay, okay, I got to stop. So let's do, the, let's see what she looks like crossbody. Okay. Okay, so here she is, crossbody. And even cuter. Love it, crossbody. I like that I can wear this bag crossbody. It's, I mean, because it's my favorite way to wear it. And like, she hits me right at the perfect length. 
Love it so much. Open it up, grab whatever I need, and shut. Shut it. So, that is the bag that I chose to go with because it's been turned down instead of ordering the niece mini. I mean, I had to pay extra for sure, but she's worth it. I mean, just the little rings right here. I'll show you guys. I don't know if you can see it or not. The rings around the chain say Louis Vuitton on all four of those. It says Louis Vuitton on this other piece up here. She's just perfect. And I just love the oversized LV right there. Love it, love it, love it. All right, let me give you guys a little bit of details on her, okay? So, she is made from puffy calf leather, it says. Puffy calf leather. Mm, I've never seen it called puffy calf leather. Okay, it has the V and wave patterns quilted into the calf skin, which you guys can all see. And then it's got, let's see, gold color chain slides through engraved eyelets to allow short shoulder carry or sporty crossbody wear. Her measurements are 9.4 inches in length, 5.5 inches in height, and 3.5 inches in width. And she is in the Rose Ballerina Pink, like I told you guys at the beginning. Has the microfiber lighting, aged gold color hardware, which I love. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I told you all about the magnetic lock, LV lock. So I just, it's so much easier just to have it right there on the phone. So that's, that is her. And I don't want to put her down, but I'm going to have to. She's going to also set by her sis, pink sisters. This box, this box is huge. And I already tore off my address and all that. This is huge. Sometimes I go a little overboard. <laughs> I'm so excited to see it, okay? It's got tape over part of the cardboard that you pull back. It's making it difficult. Finally, okay. So let me turn it around. So you guys can see the cute little... Well, maybe too high. The camera may be too high. Can you guys see the cute little guy walking with his, with his bag, with his trunk, with something? There he is walking, though. Okay. Golly, they box these suckers up. In the biggest boxes sometimes. Oh, this is so cute. I'm pretty sure I have this book. But I don't have it in the, in the orange envelope. Yeah, okay. So I do have a book already. But that's okay because I'll give it to my daughter. So, but I'm excited to have the orange envelope. The last envelope I had was gray. I was confused why gray. But that's okay. No complaints. This envelope better for, for sure than the gray one. I'll just play it somewhere. So, it just pops open in the back like right underneath that. The little things, yes, also do make me very happy. So let's get this box out of this box. I look how huge this box is. Good grief, that box is enormous. Okay, here we go. Here's the box that I care about. <laughs> so let's let's look. And you guys. She will get paid for this bag, okay? She will. Mama don't play those games. No, I don't. Such a sweet gesture, but Mama don't play those games. Okay, okay, I'm guilty, guilty. Okay, here we go. Let's see what it is. Let's move this box out of the way. Okay. All right, so here's the dust bag. Now, let's unwrap her. Let's take her out, okay? Let's see. So pretty. So, already knew it was gonna be this bag because we, we talked about this bag in the different styles 
at the Louis Vuitton store that I looked at because I have it in the black and the pink, okay? And I was telling my daughter how I liked it in Never Full and one other bag. It was a small, very small bag. And I thought this was a beautiful color combo. I was telling her about how if they would have had it in a Speedy, I probably would have got this that day also because it was just so beautiful in the other other styles so I ended up getting her after all okay how sweet is that and I love that she's got the light Vachetta most all the bags that are coming out now are the treat of Vachetta so I'm glad to have another one with the light Vachetta I know it will patina over time but when it does it's just gonna be so pretty mixed with this color for sure and so let me show you guys real close and I don't know if you can see it or not and I'll do a 360 of her real quick. The bottom. Okay. It says this bag is beige slash Claire. I'm not real sure what the color Claire is. But this has a pink tint to this. Okay. So I don't know if it's showing up on camera or not. But it definitely has a pink tint to the LV symbols. And when I seen it on the Never Full and the other little bag that I can't remember the name of, I was shocked because I didn't know it had a pink tint to it until I saw it in person. And it's so pretty. I mean, it's definitely beige. I'm not going to say that it's not a beige color, but it does give off a pink tint. And I like that, okay? So this, this bag is both of those, this one and the black with the pink, you guys... They are to die for. Like, they are good, good bags. And I know a lot of people don't care for the pockets on the front, but I do. I like it because I can stick my phone in there and not have to worry about sticking it down in this bag. Let's open her up with her beautiful, shiny, hot gold hardware. Still confused why they didn't decide to just extend this zipper on down both sides. They know it makes our life easier but they don't want to do that I guess okay so inside of it it has the brown um, textile lining with the LV symbols okay so it's got the LV symbols in there it's so pretty I don't think these bags will need an organizer unless you just are like me and want things to be organized and I do I'll I'll put one in it but if you're curious this is a very good structured bag if you don't want an organizer, you're good to carry it just how it came. But I like things to be organized. Okay, so let's take this strap out. I hate when I put my own straps together. I'm just joking. So here's the lock and key in here. Let's set that down. All right, I may have made it too long, but let me show you guys real quick how pretty the gold is. So shiny on this strap. Okay, so let's zip her up. Speedies, hmm. Along with pink, speedies always make me so happy. Okay. And my daughter knows that too. She knows that. She knows because we talk handbags all the time. This is the oldest one, by the way. Youngest one would have a never could buy. <laughs> she could buy on back. She could not buy anybody back. All right. Oh my gosh, she is so pretty. Perfect fall colors. Anytime, really. I told you guys before. I don't wear my bags according to what season we're in. If I want to wear it, I'm gonna wear it. I did a, I didn't adjust it right. Uh, for the shoulder length that I would wear it as but here it is if I wanted to you guys can kind of picture it up up here so let's see what it looks like Cro crossbody because this is how I wear my speedies I wear them crossbody so here she is crossbody and I judged it just right so perfect length right there so cute the pocket has a magnetic closure I didn't tell you guys that earlier but it does so I can just pull that open, grab my phone out, 
and not have to fool with opening up my bag and getting it out. I showed you guys on my last video the phone fitting inside of the other one that I got. Now let's see if it will with this case. The case I had on it before was a rubber case. I reordered another one and you guys, <laughs> it's, it's almost just like it. But we're going to try to fit it in here with this cover on it. It may have been worse. It, it fits, but it's, it, fit, it will fit better with a thinner cover than what I have. Okay, so there it is. So you're walking around town and you want to grab your phone and you don't have to reach your hand in this bag and get it kind of sliced from the zipper. You just open it up, pull out your phone, and there it is. Wham, bam. Okay, back to the bag. Anyways, or you could put your card holder down here. If that's something you're reaching for more than your phone, you can put your phone in the bag and pull your card holder out of that, out of the pocket, and it's right there so you don't have to constantly be getting in and out of your bag if that's what you grab for most. And just depending on what you're doing, you know, there, you can put lots of things down in it. I myself love this on the bag because I think it's unique. Now, I do think that this should be a seasonal thing. I don't think that they should make all speedies this way, but I like knowing that they did offer it and I was able to, to buy that one and then I'm going to buy this one. I am because, um, yeah, I don't let my kids do that. And um, I'm so, but she's so precious. She's so precious. Anyways, um, so sweet, but I do like that they did come out with one that has the option for you to be able to put your phone in the front of it because really and truly sometimes these zippers hurt you guys, they hurt. Now when they extend down, they don't, okay? But considering I am a speedy loving girl, I put up with it. I'll put up with things depending on the bag. And of course, of course, I would never let this bag go, never. So, thanks to her, here is my Speedy 25B and all of its glory. So pretty. From the Fall For You collection of 2022. Made in France. I forgot to tell you guys that earlier. I always like to see and know why. And then, I don't think I told you guys this, but it also, look at me backtracking has a zipper pocket on the inside. All speedy do. I guess that's why I don't think to tell you guys that because it's just something I never think about because all the speedies have them, you know? But anyways, so pretty. Love it. Can't stop staring at it. It's going to fit very nicely with the rest of my beauties for sure. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. And I love the black and pink one too. When we were at the store, I thought about getting it in the Never Full, and the pocket was really large, and which was awesome because, you know, you could have used any phone cover you wanted to on your phone because it had a lot more room, but that bag was heavy, you guys. I mean, I tried that thing on, and I was like, good lordy, um, I can't, no, like it was, it was weighing my shoulder down without even having anything in it. So, as much as I wanted the Never Full in it, if it wouldn't have had the pocket on the front, I would have gotten it. I think that big pocket's what made it so heavy because this is a canvas bag, so it shouldn't be any heavier than any of the other canvas bags. But, yeah, that one was extremely heavy, but it was extremely beautiful for a Never Full. But I'm very more proud of the speedy in it because I just tend to lean more towards carrying knees as an everyday bag than I do the Never Full. But I still love my Never Fulls. I don't buy them as much, but when they come out with a new pretty on prompt color, I like to get those because I like the on prompt leather Never Full bags more than I like the canvas ones. They're just softer and I don't know, they're more subtle. They're just really pretty. But anyways, not counting the bandolier, that is my triple unboxing for today. And other than this, everything was pretty pink. <laughs> also, I just want to let you guys know, after I do my room tour, I'm going to show you guys all my handbags. 
So I'm going to do a handbag collection video. It'll probably be a part one and part two, but I'm going to do that pretty soon. I've got several videos to do ahead of it, some tags and such, but I can't wait to show you guys all my collection. Yeah, so I'm going to get off here now and go call my daughter and then let you guys all go with. I hope you have a great morning, day, evening, or night. Whatever the time of day it is that you're watching this, and for me, it is a good evening. And I will see you guys back soon with another video. Bye.